Okay, now we've been through the nuts and bolts of composition, but there's one more really important element that we need to talk about, and that is working the scene. In other words, once you've taken your picture, and this is true in any context, whether it's you're a landscape person or you're shooting portraits or whatever, that you don't just take a few pictures or one picture and move on. That what you need to do is try it from all sorts of different angles and different perspectives and, and things like that. People are really resistant to this for some reason. And I know that if you were someone that shot film, that it would create resistance because every shot there costs money. Uh, every time you, you took a picture, that was film that was being used. And then of course you had to have that developed. So all that can get expensive. But in the digital realm, we have at this point virtually unlimited pictures. Uh, data is so cheap as to once you have your card, you can reuse it. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be taking just tons of pictures. I'm not talking about machine gunning pictures or anything like that, but I am saying to take lots of pictures from lots of different angles. I don't know why people, and, and I'm, I include myself in this, we all do it. It's like we think that somebody's going to look at our hard drive or look at our card and say, yeah, you got that one great shot, but look at all these bad ones you have on your card. It doesn't work like that. Nobody sees them. When you see a picture in a magazine, you know, nobody says, yeah, that's a great picture, but you know, he's got all these bad ones on his hard drive. It does, it does not like that. And so don't worry about that. And instead, focus on trying all these different things. Now, let's think about this in a couple different perspectives. If you're shooting portraits or you're shooting models or you're shooting people in any form or fashion, think about if you've ever seen a, a shoot like this, and if not, you've probably seen them on TV and things, that they don't just walk up and go, hmm, yeah, okay, do this, pose this, okay, yeah, got it, we're done. You know, they, they're sitting there and you see, you've seen them, right? They're taking all these different pictures from all these different angles and all these different poses. And they're not going to use them, but they're going to take, you know, one or two or a few. So this is how the pros do it. Uh, think about this too. You're probably familiar with National Geographic. National Geographic is famous for having these great photographers and they would go out into the field and come back with these great photos, right? Well, if you ever read about that, these guys would go out and take 10,000 pictures. Now you're only going to see six or 10 or 12 or something like that, but they would take an enormous amount of pictures and then come back with them. And because that's what they were doing is working the scene. The first time I ever heard about this was there was a, a photographer and uh, his name was David Hurd and he joined a group called Magnum Photographers, very famous photographers. And when he joined, he got access to the contact sheets of the other photographers. And he realized that they all worked in the same way. All these great photographers worked in the same way, which is they find a scene and once they found it, they were like a dog with a bone. And then that, that's what they were doing. And, and so that's what I'm trying to impart upon you is let's, if all the professionals and all the masters are working in this same way, there must be something to it. So let's do that for ourselves, right? If you're a landscape, nightscape, cityscape type photographer as well, there's a way to go about this that'll really help you sort of get your shots. And that's called sketching. Uh, in other words, that if you're a person that's putting your camera on a tripod, it really restricts your mobility. But what you can do is take the camera off the tripod, crank up the ISO to much higher levels than you'd ever use normally, and then just walk around and take pictures and see how you like them. Keep in mind, you're going to throw these away. You're never going to use them. But this will allow you to try different compositions, different angles, different perspectives. And then when you have a few that you like, then put the, picture, the camera on the tripod and get the final shot. So I just want to impress upon you that once you take a shot or two using all these rules of composition and all these elements we've been talking about, you're not done. Keep trying different things. Now let's get into today's assignment, and I think you're going to really enjoy today's. Today is one I call on assignment. What I want you to do is go to a local landmark. It can be a big monument if you're in a big city. It can be a bridge. It can be a vista. It can be anything, as long as it's sort of the thing that your place is known for. Go there with the idea that you're on assignment 
from a big magazine or something like that, and they want you to get the best shot of it possible. What you're gonna do is go there and use everything you've learned so far in this course and work the scene like you learned in today's lesson. Try it from every conceivable perspective and angle and get a unique shot of it. The point is, when you're done with this, you should have something really cool. Your local chamber of commerce should want this picture. It should be that cool. So spend some time and really get a great shot today. Enjoy it and good luck.